Here we are pretty close to finishing the development on the clock page. Um, we'll enter the clock. As you can see, we highlight each one of the drop downs as well as the individual button rows. If we make a change to the year, let's say we make it 2024, you will now notice that the set clock will now be glowing red as an indicator that we have some changes pending. <clears throat> we can apply the, the setting. If we scroll to cancel, it will continue to glow. If we go back and apply it, the clock will be updated and then we are no longer in a pending state. So we have the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, the second. And any of these six drop downs will trigger the set clock into a pending state. So if we go back to 2023, and let's say it's February, you'll also notice that the days will be adjusted accordingly. As you can tell, we'll go down to 28. It's only 28 in February. And if we go to the year, which I believe is a leap year, we have the 29th. So we handle both leap years and we automatically calculate the number of days per month. Once we apply this configuration, uh, we can go back, which will also cancel any changes, and it will revert all the settings to the previously, uh, to the previous date and time. So we'll go back in here, 2023, make it February 28th. Sure. Set the clock. Confirm. We can go back. Four, which is a leap year, go to the 29th, and we'll set the clock. That's it for the demo.